Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Samia Vidal and today we're gonna be creating this female superhero character. Her name is Purple Starlight and in this first part I'm gonna be um, preparing the character in Character Creator 3. So let's open up that. I already had it open here and <clears throat> by default we already get this um, character model here so to start with I'm gonna go to the base tab here and we're gonna look for a full body morph and of course um, you see here different folders everything that you see here you have to purchase within this program you have to purchase separately so this is a CC3 RTL folder that contains um, you know different characters or models here um, for for her I'm going to use <coughs> this one called Anya I think it's called Anya, I think that's how it's pronounced. So I click there. And then you're gonna see, see. That's the Anya character. But now we're gonna, you know, get the proper material and again on the CC3 folder. See? We get here the Anya material for her. And see, now she looks more like, you know, the picture here. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do now is to edit her eyes. And we're going to go back to the base folder and then to the eye eyeballs folder and in the essential morph I'm gonna get the vampire eyes see they now look red but later I'll change that to purple as she has here so now <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna edit her body because I want her to look a little bit more, you know, thick or voluptuous, I think that's how I said. And she looks too skinny. So I'm gonna go here in the modify um, tab and under the merge, and I click there. And sorry, this barely can see. And the over here where it says full body, you click there and you got options in here. So we're gonna go way down here where it says voluptuous. <coughs> and then I'm gonna make her a little bit more, you know, thicker. Yeah. Yeah, she's way too much. Hold on. Let me just fix this. Okay, I think that's good enough, I guess. Now I'm gonna fix her pose here in the under the tab body on, on pose body, and over here I'm gonna use a stand F as for female. Yeah, that'll fix it. Now, if you notice, I don't, I don't like too much the way her shoulders are, like inward. I wanna, you know, kind of widen a little bit. Just, I don't know, I don't like it. So I'm gonna go here. In the, uh, again, in the um, Murph um, tab here on the arm, we're gonna look for a setting here. That's called shoulder width. And then, you know, this one will widen, you know, her shoulders a little bit. Okay. 
that's it. Now I'm gonna start, you know, putting her hair and the her costume. You know, I I will be putting like the jacket, the van brace, the glove, the trousers and boots, the belt and the cape. I will be doing that in Blender. So <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna do is you know add the the corset that she's she's wearing here. And that will be in the clothing tab. I think it will be this one though. Sorry, let me see. The, the full character. The dress icon, I guess. And on the professional outfit, you see the corset in there? Just gonna put that one. It takes a while. Sorry about that. It takes a while. And you notice that it only puts half here because you know she still got the underwear here. So all you have to do is select the underwear and hit delete. And now you have the full corset there. Now I'm gonna show you what I do only for for this one because it takes a little bit of time, and and then for the rest of the her clothing I'm not gonna do it to save some time. But after you have set that one, well let me select it. I will come to the appearance tab, and here where it says act activate appearance editor, <clears throat> make sure you have this checked. And you can select from traditional um, texture or PBR, or, you know, material or PBR material. But I'm just going to leave it there in the default and then activate. And the reason I'm doing this is to increase the resolution of, you know, the texture that, that this um, prop is using. If you see here, the output size is 1024 by 1024. I'm going to increase that to 2048 by 2048. Now, I'm doing that because my computer has high capabilities, of course. But if your computer happens to have low specs, then I would suggest you leave it default. And, you know, as you can see, it takes a little bit a while for it to, you know, Take and see now it looks a little bit more, you know, defined in the the texture here. See more detail, you know, and then on load appearance back. Now then I'm gonna go to this tab, the material tab there, because I mean we're gonna make that purple. there so I'm going to select here the adjust color um, option and you know I'm going to put a little more brightness there and then the saturation I start adjusting the saturation and then the hue uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing that looks about right, right there. <coughs> yeah, we got already the corset um, purple. Now, it's very important to save this, of course. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop, on your folder. And call it okay. For Starline, <clears throat> now we're going to add um, hair. So we're going to go here to the hair option, and on the hottest hairstyle here, there's an, another pack that you have to buy separately. 
we're gonna um, gonna choose the long wavy hair. Let's see, you now she kind of looks like the one she has here. Now, make sure we select it. Um, Again, I, I should increase the resolution, but I'm not going to do that now because it'll take a little bit of time. So in here, when you go to the material, you got two options. The material option, you know, you got two options here, the scalp wavy hair and the wavy hair. I will start with the wavy hair first. And then, you know, kind of like adjust that. F first of all, let me... Let me first um, change the background here real quick so I can have a, a better view. Uh, I will use this one, the default one. That way, you know, I can see now it looks much better. And now I will readjust her hair back. Put on a little brightness. I don't know. That's that looks about right there. So I usually will see this settings here, and then I will use this setting for the scalp. Three. Fifty-two, and I think the other one was four. Is that right? Let's check. Oh, negative. Okay. Continue to save. Okay, now we're gonna add the jacket. No, the jacket would be in this settings on the others, I guess, and, and on the Hive Wire Huntress. That's where we found that one. I'm gonna add that jacket there. See, and <clears throat> when we export this in Blender, of course, I'm gonna be doing some editing. Um, I will be doing, you know, adding because. And you see the photo here, see she has, on that jacket there's two colors, a purple and a pink, so <clears throat> I'm going to be doing that on Blender. And, um, let me see, and also in the picture you see the gloves here, which are these ones. So... Select her jacket, and then you're gonna see two materials here. I guess ones are for this gold brass, you know, and <clears throat> the other one is for the jacket. So we're gonna edit the jacket and. Thinking that that's about right. I think I don't. Ah, yeah, I guess that's about right. I'm gonna select. The gloves and then the same thing. I'm going to adjust the color of the this leather leather <coughs> but this one's gonna be pink I think I'll give it a little bit yeah that's about right okay um I'm gonna adjust her uh, her fingernails here. So I want them to make it look purple. 
uh, to select the the body and we're going to, to select the material here and we're going to adjust that to a purple and I'm going to make it dark here Let's see now um when you see in the picture here you notice that her lips and her eyebrows are purple and her eyelashes well the the eyelashes I can adjust it here but like her lips and the eyebrow I have will have to do that separate in, in Photoshop uh, well in my case I use a pinch up pro so I will be doing that in the photo editor actually so let's see eyelashes here real quick about right there see okay so we're gonna add the trousers the trousers will be in this one the light armor and I see the trousers now if you notice again on the picture you see the uh, is cut out this part here from the trousers is cut out and that's why I will be doing in blender for so now I'm just gonna leave it like that and then when I export the character I will be you know ed editing that in blender so in here I'm just gonna go and give it a little bit of lightness and bump this saturation um, yeah, let me see, a little bit of brightness. Yeah, that sounds about right. It looks about right, I guess, yeah. <coughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna add her, her boots and then it's gonna come here to shoes folder. And I'm gonna add this one. Now, in this one, if you notice the uh, the picture, see you have here a pink color, but then under the shoe sole here, um, it's black. So for me to to do that here because this looked like one entire texture but it's not really this is using two different rgbs well it's using more than the two i think like three or four rgb masks so for me to access that i will have to go to the appearance <clears throat> tap and then you know activate and go to the settings there for me to adjust that for to the color material that I want it, it takes a little bit that's the reason why I don't I don't use this setting that much because it takes a little bit longer you know but we'll get there okay and you see that the default output size will be 20 by 48 I mean 2048 by 2048 but for now for me to adjust this setting I will have to lower it so that way it doesn't take that much time you know into to doing the change I will lower it to that low setting for now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to check here which RGB mask um, each part of this boot is using for me to do that, you go all the way down here when it's, where it says the input maps diagnostic, you enable that. See? And you notice that it's using different um, RGB masks. You see yellow, green, black, red, and over here, the blue. See? 
So I only need I need to use, adjust them all of them in pink color, and then this the the shoe sole here black. So make sure that is the the green and yellow is the one that's gonna go black. So disable, and then I'm gonna go on the fabric base black here. That's for the black mask here. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to this setting that says diffuse HSL and first of all we do the lightness here okay why it's not adjusting oh. So I had the right tap. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought like, why well, is not adjusting? No, okay, I need that. And I need to make this kind of pink. There we go. Make sure it it matches with you know the gloves a little bit. Oh boy. Saturation, I'm telling you. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. So, the settings here will be 82, 80, 32. I, don't know, I mean, if I can do that for the rest, 82, 80, 32. Okay. Hope I don't forget. For the, for the red one, will be the same thing. Be point eighty two point eighty. See, same color for the blue, it's going to be the same thing. This one, the cyan or cyan, I don't know, cyan color. It'll be same setting. And now we say that the bottom here will be green and, and yellow. So for here, we're just simply going to, not the uh, dark, oh, yes. And let me put the saturation there. See, just the there black. And then we'll put now the yellow. Okay, that sounds, that looks good there. With that. So now we're gonna come back here and now we're gonna put it back in the 2048 by 2048. <coughs> See, it takes, it takes a little bit. It takes a while for it to take the, the change. I'm going to 
put it back. Okay, I guess we got her there. So and let me see if I'm missing something else. I got the jack. Oh, the vampires. The vampires was there in that light armor over here. over there and you know for me to adjust the, at least the leather because in blender I probably gonna make this look um, like plastic you know so <clears throat> just adjust the leather not pink Sounds about right there. That's a okay. good Okay. Let me save this. The only thing I'm missing now is the her eyes. So let me make sure. Yeah. Her eyes. So I'm going to select her eyes. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna adjust it using the material because if I do that, it'll see change everything within and now I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to go to the appearance tab and activate it. And then the, I'm only gonna adjust the cornea one because that will be the outer layer in the eye. Okay, and then in the pupil, I'm going to adjust that uh, to purple. See this little dot here. The strands. I think it must be this yellowish. I make that. Let me see. I make it this color to see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? I can do it kind of bluish. I can do that kind of bluish, I guess. A little bit bluish. Yeah, like that. The iris here. I guess I'm gonna do that pink. Let's see. Okay. Maybe the spots. Maybe the spots. Let me see if I can do purple. Shoe. Yeah, that looks nice. I, I think that looks, that looks nice. The ring. I don't I don't know which one is the ring. Let me see. No, actually, let me do that purple. Yeah, cause I want I want then the rim color to be the pink. There we go. And then this, I don't know how to pronounce this, sclera, sclera, I don't know. I'm gonna do this one a dark purple. And the veins, I'm gonna do that pink. And the eye ambient, let me see, which one is that one? How about if I choose pink? Oh, I see. Should I leave it like that or should I go purple? Or? I think it looks a little bit better. Like that. 
Yeah, I guess she looks a little bit better like that. Okay, and I think um, that she is done, you know, for to export to Blender. By the way, this is a, a character that I created for a comic book. Um, her, her name, her human name is Andrea Blake. And her superhero name is Andromeda. And, you know, she is called Purple Starlight. Um, I, I will be posting links to the comic book in case somebody might be interested can buy. And... I guess in then on the second part of the video then I will be exporting her to Blender then doing all the the editing in Blender. So thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.